I'm coming, Jess. I'm looking for my sister. She went into a forest. I want to hire a guide. No guide. Forest is very dangerous. Sarah. Spirits cannot rest there. They come back. Angry. Yes. We're going to get into our discussion of the forest. Okay. Now, before I go any further, did y'all know it's that horror movie that uh, that has that Game of Thrones girl in it? What's what's her name? Natalie Dormer. Natalie Dormer. You know, finally getting some recognition. Mm-hmm. You know, finally headlining movies and everything. She says, "I'm more than just a fine body." What was she in just recently? Was it a Mission Hunger Impossible? Games. Hunger Games. Yeah, there it. you go. Thank you. There you go, Martin. How can you forget that? <laughs> that shaved head and shit. <laughs> but Martin, that's not the name we're gonna talk about right now. I want to ask you: Do you know the Do you know the name Jason Zada? Ring a bell? I saw his name at the end of the, the, at the movie. The, yeah. The movie, yeah, I was yeah. cussing his name out when I saw this. But hey, it might be great. I'm just kidding. I, you know, I don't know. I, I haven't heard what Martin thought about it. Martin, before you were probably cussing this man's name out, though, here he is right here. That is Jason Zada. The thing about Jason Zada, he's directed this movie, which is a horror film. But before he did that, he did many other horrible things. I like his taste in shirts. <laughs> oh man, you and him shop at the same place. <laughs> I'm hypnotized by that shirt. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you see yourself in me, Martin? <laughs> but Martin, this man, before he did this, he directed other horrors. Such as, do you remember, Martin, the, the, the horror known as Elf Yourself? Do you remember that? You don't remember this? Oh, it was the, yeah, no, look at, look at uh, Matthew. Matthew's like, oh, shit, I've elfed myself many a times. Wait. <laughs> He worked for he this is the guy that worked for the company. He he headlined that campaign for Elf Yourself. What's you, the company that, that makes those things? I don't know the company's name, but it was for Office Max. And Elf Yourself was where you you got to witness the terror of several people online putting their faces on dancing elves out there. <clears throat> so you if you see that, Martin, I've gone to the Elf Yourself website, which is a tradition every year. Now you can see over a billion elves served down there. And now I, you see, I put our faces in there, Martin. Yeah. I took myself. I took you. I took uh, Tommy's face, hoping that Tommy would be here. Of course, he's not. Oh, what he's missing. Because when you put your... Now, now go try this, people. It's fun. It's fun. When you, you, you put your face in there, manipulate a little bit, and then when you do, you press let's dance. And Martin, are you, are you ready? Sure. You ready for the magic that happens? Sure. I mean, the, the horror that happens? Sure. All right. Let's see here if it plays. Somebody does this with these websites every year. But you know, this, I missed it this year. This so. is the original, and you know, it looks like you don't want to do shit with it right now. So. <laughs> but you know what? I feel like I'm watching the forest again. <laughs> <laughs> this is more exciting, right? Watching that fucking spin, that little dial right there. Oh, here we go. On the first day of Christmas, my true love said to me, a kitten in a Christmas tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love said to me, two scratching posts and a kitten in a Christmas tree. Martin, you can let it somehow fits. Martin, can I tell you something? All of, sh- all of it fits. Don't shake your head because you make a badass elf, man. I'm looking at this right there. Out of all the elves, elves that I did between you, Tommy, uh, and, and myself, you were the best one. You look like you were serious about it. I think they, they all equally look good. Make a badass fucking elf because if you if you look at I'm not smiling because Tommy's kind of high. Yeah, you, yeah, exactly, Martin. You take that shit seriously. Like Tommy's just high as fuck. I'm and I'm looking goofy as always. Hey. But Martin, you were taking that shit seriously. And a box of three balls of yarn, two scratching posts, and a kitchen and a Christmas tree. <laughs> On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love said to me. Part coming up. That part right there, Martin. <laughs> Martin, people, I don't know what else to tell you. I'll put it up on the site so you can go, you can go look at it there if you're listening. <laughs> if you're watching right now, you see what we're doing. But <laughs> I, love, I love the chat. The chat like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Somebody said, I paid 99 cents for this bullshit. <laughs> Somebody said you were Beyonce, man. <laughs> but you were getting down in that one part, man. I, I love that part. This part right here where you, 
<laughs> Rub that dust off your shoulder right there. <laughs> Put you on the remix, man. You you are a bad fucking elf, man. I love that shit. <laughs> the, the horror. <laughs> Sadly, I must agree with you. <laughs> yeah, you, man, you <laughs> tell you, man, that's your, you got to do that for next uh, Christmas. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. And who's ever complained about it? Paying ninety nine cents for this, I actually had to pay a dollar ninety nine to get that video. Oh, for real? To download it, yeah, oh, <laughs> just to see your ass in a loop right there. <laughs> <laughs> but the guy also did. Uh, he did some legitimate horror stuff before. He, another social media campaign. He did this thing called. Take this lollipop where and shove it and <laughs> shove it up your ass. <laughs> I'll tell this guy right now. But no, it was, a, it was a campaign where you put your Facebook information in, and this is to teach people how not to put their information out there. And so when you when you when you're a kid, you're told don't take candy from strangers. Yeah. So this is kind of the metaphorical internet social media equivalent of that. You put uh, put your Facebook information in there, and this guy he, he looks like he's looking at you and your friends. And then at the end of it, he dri- he looked like he's driving to your house. And just, and just, like there's your Facebook profile right there. You know that one. It's it's, it's no it's no elf. It's no it's elf yourself. But it's it's hard. It's about as dumb as any other horror movie no, we see fucking these dumb. nights. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking stupid. It's <laughs> the so reason y'all didn't hear about this. Shit. <laughs> but, <laughs> So you saying, wow, this guy has such a, a great track record yeah, with, with horror. With a portfolio like that. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this movie is going to be crazy good, Martin. And what is this about? Well, the movie, I told you, it's called The Forest. And you have Natalie Dormer in this movie as Sarah. She's a young American woman. And she needs to know why her twin sister mysteriously disappeared in Japan. And her search leads her to the infamous Aokigahara. Ayo, what is How you say Ayo, Aokigahara? Okikahara Forest. And that's where the spirits of sad souls are said to torment any living being who dares to enter their domain. Are these ghosts responsible for Sarah's sister's demise? And will Sarah meet the same fate? Now, some of y'all probably have heard about this because they call it the forest of uh, the sea of the sea of trees. And they also call it the suicide forest. Now, I don't know too much about it, but I have read about this before this movie came out. I think BuzzFeed or somebody did a a big thing about it. And it is, but look, it's creepy. This is perfect material. Mm-hmm. Do you know, do you know about this? No. You, you, so you never heard about this far. Is that the, is that the base of Mount, what, Fujiyama? With a, <laughs> uh, you got it right. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I ain't gonna tell, I'll pull that right out my head. No, 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 no. You got it right. Keep going. <laughs> Mount Fujiyama. It's at the base right there. And that's a place where, and these are gruesome pictures I'm gonna tell you, but people go there to die. Sometimes people go there just because it sounds like it's cool to go there now. Oh, people going there to die. That's, I imagine trendy. they're already suicidal when they get there. Yeah, and it's and they started to put the pictures out because they say, look, you don't know how gruesome this shit gets after you die there. So they have people that go there and death. Oh shit, death has never looked so horrible. Like when you you don't realize when your face is like leaning forward. Yeah, how about your face gut spill? Well, I guess if you go into a deep forest and hang yourself where nobody's going in there to pull you out, and you just hang and decay. Yeah, it's oh, gonna look it, like ain't, that. it ain't pretty. Some people, hey, look, people, we're vain creatures. All right, even in death, we don't want to look like that. <laughs> and they say the bo- that the most. Uh, the most the most uh, popular methods of killing yourself there is overdose and hanging because there's a bunch of trees there. And when you go in there, I mean, even the – okay, the bodies are in there somewhere. They have rangers that go in there to take them down. But then they say that even the clothes look scary. You know, people hang up coats as a warning. Do not come here. The spirits are still here, Martin. And the Japanese don't half step. They really don't. They can't even make – they can't even do suicide normal. You know, they gotta make it. A tu- they gotta make it like a tourist attraction. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they gotta, they gotta yeah. make. They gotta make that like the the Disneyland of, of suicide. <laughs> it, it's it, it's really a fucked up thing. That they, they they the numbers were getting so high <laughs> that the, the 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 officials just said, "Man, just stop releasing numbers," <laughs> because it makes people want to do it. When you hear how popular it is, sure. Like only in Japan would you just commit suicide because hey, it's trendy. <laughs> it's trendy. I know. <laughs> <You> know? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> make sure I take a selfie before I hang my. <laughs> I forgot to press it. <laughs> but, you know, you can always rope it off. <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> but uh, 
the reason I'm telling you all this is because, well, first of all, you need to know the backstory of the forest because it is a real place. I mean, it's a place where the, the just the forest itself, the story behind it, scares the shit out of people. Right. So when you go to this movie, you do when you get to the forest, the the thing that is supposed to be the scariest part of the movie, you do a whole. You'd, you'd be better off going hiking on your by yourself because the movie spends a lot of time. Sarah, when she gets to Japan. Looking for a sister Jess. Looking for a sister Jess. And that's the thing. She plays both parts. When she goes there looking for a sister, the you know, it's 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 kind of intriguing at first. Because you if you know about this forest, you like you want to know what this forest did to her. And then it it works out such it, it, in, in a way where it starts out as a murder mystery. It's, I mean, we don't know if there's a murder there, but it follows the same kind of thing. Right, because her sister Jess is missing, and she's like, look, she's my twin. She's not dead. If she was dead, I would feel it. I would know. I wouldn't know. Yeah, you know, they they got that, that sister thing where it's like, oh, I feel her. You know, mm-hmm. with, with, with twins and so close, I can feel everything. Well, shit, well, how come you give her a phone call and tell her not to go there in the first <laughs> fucking place? But, you know, it's one, one of the many dumb things about this film. But you're thinking, all right, shit, they just in Japan. And I'm already kind of pulled in. Oh, I can't wait for them to get to that forest. No, man, when they get to that forest, she gets herself a guide. Of course, it's a handsome dude. Taylor Kinney is uh, one of her guys. And, and, you know, they're in Japan, so they got to bring in, you know, the token uh, Japanese dude to help them uh, maneuver their way through this uh, forest full of ghosts. And when they get there, I'm serious, people. If you do not like hiking, then don't go see this movie because that's all you're pretty much watching. For most of it. Sarah. Ah, whatever. (laughs) Take a look at this. Okay, that's weird. Why is that happening? Iron deposits in the mountain. It's crazy, huh? Yeah. So when y'all shut the fuck up and come on. You're like, <laughs> you're like white people. Man, I don't even want to be out here. <laughs> he doesn't even look. <laughs> he's like, y'all asked to come here now. What the fuck? We got ghosts out here. Y'all looking at a goddamn compass right now. <laughs> Nobody knows how compasses like, work. Just, that's why he's, just come on. Yeah. <laughs> they're like, oh, the white people. <laughs> look. People sometimes see things in the forest. Important to remember. If you see anything bad, anything strange, it is not real. Okay? It's not there. It's here. She's like, I'm seeing shit right now because the mushroom's kicking in. <laughs> Man, that, that dude sighed and rolled his eyes through that entire three <laughs> lines of dialogue. <laughs> Man. <sighs> It's, I mean, he, this dude, this, this actor is either not interested in this role at all, or he really is a guide. He really thinks these are dumb white people going out in the woods. Right? It's like, really? Oh, you goddamn guy, Jen. Fuck. Okay. Another one. Come this way. I'll show you where Godzilla is. Anything you see, it's in your head. And blah, blah, blah. And bleep, bleep, bleep. Whatever the hell else you want to put in there. And, and by the way, I, I ain't buying this shit. This fucking hipster ass Asian dude right here, no, because he don't have no accent. <laughs> he, he's like, y'all, he, y'all ain't gonna make me come up here talking about, oh, so. He's like, he's like, nah, man, I went to acting school. Yeah, like, listen to this motherfucker, man. He don't even say, he don't have one bit of accent. Like, oh, listen, guys, look. <laughs> look. <laughs> People sometimes see things in the forest. That motherfucker just get right. Man, there is no fucking accent. Let me look at that fa- that hipster man mustache and that beard he got on him. That fucking soul patch. No, ain't no fucking way. They got they found this doing the Starbucks in, in fucking Seattle, man. Japan. He's the translator. <laughs> yeah, the real actor didn't show up, so right. he had to do it. Yeah. <laughs> look, just say this. It's three. Yeah. It's three sentences. Yeah, fuck, man. I want to be in this motherfucker anyway. <laughs> so, anyway, people. Now, I, I, the thing I don't like about the movie, I'm, I'm going to put it out there. I'm, I've, I've never seen a more blatant laundry list of fucking cliches than I have ever. I mean, I know I say that all the time, but it's almost like they checked this shit off when they went there. The jump scares, the whole thing of, was it a dream or not a dream, you know? Um, seeing shit out in the forest, it, it all happens sometimes in one scene. And... It's upsetting because they have all this stuff to work with, with the atmosphere, you know, the legend of the farce, the myth of the, uh, of the whole thing. But no, they decide to just go for the easiest things that they can reach for. Ah! <laughs> 
Ghosts, when they, the hallucinations and the ghosts, even they ain't scary. Looking at an old ass Destiny's Child out there. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I, I am highly, highly fucking disappointed with this movie, man, because it's one thing to commit this crime of repeating these cliches over and over again, but as I've always said, especially in a horror, in a, in a, in a horror movie and an action film, the biggest crime you can commit. Is being boring. Yeah, it's true. It's true. Uh, I mean, of the cliches that you mentioned, one for me is that in a Japanese horror film, you don't live. It's just it's just the way it is. You don't survive it. Mm -hmm. And coming into that, it's like, well, if I got no chance of my you know my character of me surviving it, then nothing means anything. I, I'm just going to go through it, and it's just like like it's not going to end well. Yeah. And yeah, the movie's dull. I mean, especially for the first hour of it. There's just not a lot going on. Yeah. And then when stuff happens, yeah. it's like, okay, it's too little too late. But maybe. But then it, it just kind of leaves you <coughs> leaves you with blue balls. Like man. really? Was that I tried, man. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm so glad that I saw this clip and they they gave us this clip. Because I fell asleep in the movie and missed that part completely. No, and I, I, tried. I woke up to see that part. Okay. I, mm -hmm. Man, I tried. I know y'all get mad when I say I fall asleep in movies. No, fuck this. They put me to sleep. I tried. They do because, because so much of it in the beginning is just xenophobia. Oh, it's, it's, <laughs> it's a white woman in, in Japan. And like, hey, you know, here's some sushi. You know, here's some, some, uh, a live shrimp we just cut up for you. And she's like, ew. You, and they try to make gross you out extra by having the tail wiggle. Oh, that damn animatronic, animatronic shrimp they have yeah. on there. Man, me, this is the thing about the film. The forest. It's called The Forest. The fucking forest. Yeah. Where all the horror is supposed to go. Like I said, the myth of this is, is, is scary, man. People get scared just listening to this shit. And yet... Somehow they made Japan before they got to the forest. They made the city of Japan scarier, scarier than the, the fucking forest. forest. Yeah, I mean, granted, it's not hard to do. <laughs> y'all know y'all crazy. That like that's one of the most frightening things I've ever seen. But when she gets to Japan. <laughs> I mean, the scariest shit happens there. Homeless people like slam on cars like zombies. Uh -huh. And they're going, ah, 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 ah. Old people just staring at you on the subway, <laughs> just looking at your ass for, for no reason. School girls and cosplay girls just in the background. Just, oh, just like, yeah, we ain't even got to the forest yet. And, and yeah, I ain't never been nowhere where they, they serve sushi that ain't dead yet. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, sure, it's, it's raw, but it ain't still wiggling on the plate. <laughs> Come on, man. They got a fucking shrimp with his head is still going. He's looking at her like, am I dead yet? That's right. That's right. The antennae yeah. on the head are doing this, and the tail is yeah. flopping around. Yeah. And shrimp was looking at her like, I can't feel my leg. What happened? <laughs> what happened? <laughs> <laughs> and it was the worst effect in the movie. It's a, it was a fucking animatronic shrimp on some rice. Just, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, God damn, man. The thing about it is, you know, uh, I think a horror movie works when it can get in your head and go like, man, what if this was happening to you? That, that, that's what makes you scared. Good point. But this is so specific. It's like, what if you had an identical twin <laughs> and that twin went to Japan <laughs> and then got lost in a forest and then you had to go look for your twin? You're like, that is never going to happen. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid shit. And, and yeah, it really, I didn't even think about that. I ask a lot of you, man. Yeah. This shit ask a lot of you. It ask a, I mean, when they say check your brain, and this movie asks you to just cut your skull off and just throw that shit in the fucking garbage, man. It's, it, and half the, the movie is dependent on hallucinations. Yeah. Is she in the forest going crazy? Or is she, or, or is, or is she really seeing ghosts? I forgot the name for it, but they're angry ghosts because they can't settle in the uh, forest. Uh, you're they. You're something like that. So, something like that. Yeah, yeah. And when you have two or three characters telling you, 
hey, what you see in this forest is not real. But she's still going, no! She's like, damn, <laughs> yeah. bitch. Yeah. How many people got to tell you? It's in your head. Yeah. You were on some <laughs> shit before you got in this forest. Right. I mean, because the way she's hallucinating, you know? <laughs> yeah. You see people in tents, they just sit up there like, should I tell him myself, should I not? She's, and they just, you know, they, some of them just get up and leave. And she's out there just like, oh, oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. It's like, man, nah, you on some drugs. And, and has so, to- so the little girl you saw yesterday on the mainland is suddenly in this forest, and you're going to believe that's really her. Yeah. And you're going to be- do what she tells like you. Like she to followed do. you there. Yeah. <laughs> and in, ha- in the other half of the hallucination, she got her. people who look like the, the fucking scarecrow from Batman. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's, like, it's people. You know, when I look at this, the first thing that I said was it's not, it, this is not a Blumhouse movie. So it has a little bit more of a budget. Yeah, it, it did. And it has a name actress in there trying to trying to make a And a name actress. It had a good look about itself. Like like there was some money put into it. Yeah, and I would and I would say that uh uh what's her name? Uh Natalie Dormer? Yeah, she's actually pretty good in this. Sure. She has to play two roles. I love uh, the scenes the, the the scene I like the most at the beginning where she's having just a normal exchange with the movie actually mm-hmm. works like a drama or a straight movie uh before she hooks up with that guide. I thought that that was some of the best parts of the movie. Yeah. Felt real. They felt like real people. Wish they had not made a horror movie, and that just could have been that. I or, or, a, or a mystery instead of a horror film. That's what, that's what I kept thinking, too. If they focus on it being a mystery and not a cheap horror movie, they could have had something. And you telling me The Legend of This Forest. Wow, there's so much that could be done with that. That, yeah, what, that wasn't. Exactly. Which makes me say something I thought I would never say. Because at first, when I saw this, I said, well, with the money behind it, this actress and this, and, and this setting... Oh, I'm so glad that this is not found footage. Mm. But <laughs> some tells me if they had actually tried to make this for five dollars, they would have probably had to have been more creative. How the fuck can you mess this up? You are out in this environment where the environment is the character itself. I know. Do you know how you could have played with the trees and the darkness and the mm-hmm. shadow to make these images where you, you, you know, you're not blatantly making these drugged out hallucinations. You're actually. <clears throat> Playing with the with the with the the, the the viewer, their mentality. Did that did I see what I think I saw? Right. Is that that was is that a shadow? Is that a body? They had so many opportunities to go. Maybe they had money, but just not time for shooting. And well, I don't know, man. They had they had enough time to shoot a lot of footage. Just walking through the fucking forest, doing nothing. I mean, and that's the problem too, because there's a <laughs> there's a lot of padding in this movie. There is. And when they pad it out, they say, "Shit, how much we got now?" And they're like, "Man, we have an hour and a half. <laughs> you know, a, about as long as it needs to be for a movie. We can't cut no more. You know, I don't, we can add more, but it's gonna be it's gonna make the movie worse." Was it an hour and a half? Yeah, it was an hour and a half, man. Okay, because because I think my movie started like around seven eleven. Are you saying it's shorter? Yeah. Because I was waiting for AAA to come because I was having problems with my car. And it was like 713 mm. when it let me out or 719. If you can't do I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I mean, eight. Okay. Bottom line is if you can't do nothing with an hour and 25 minutes, then you know what? Fuck you. You you just had nothing in the, to begin with in the beginning. This is a, this is a movie where I was, I was going to say because of the some of the acting in, in here and some of the and some of the things that did work. There was a moment where I thought that there was going to be this twist in there. Mm-hmm. I thought that this was leading to something else. I was like, oh, okay. Well, I can take a, a slow burn if it leads up to something cool. Mm-hmm. That twist never fucking happened. <laughs> it's exactly what you think it is. Whatever you think it right now is exactly what it is. And at the moment, I said, oh, well, you know, I'm going to be nice. I'm going to give it a low, low rental. They did something at the very end of this movie. That I hate in all these kind of horror movies. It was at the very, very, very really? end. The yeah, you, I don't know if you walked out before. No, you no, saw no. It. I, I saw it to the end. I just, uh, unless there's something came after the credits. It's just something that just wasn't necessary. It was stupid. Did it come after the credits? Or no, before? no. It came right before the credits, man. It was something that wasn't even necessary. Oh, they gosh. do this shit all the I'm time. I'm wondering what you're talking in about these now. Blumhouse movies. I tell you, when okay. Let me tell you, people. Really. Just give me like thirty seconds. <laughs> thirty seconds, and I'll be done. There's no need for this. Like at the end. Uh, your homeboy there, uh, hipster, hipster Japanese man right there, turns around, looks in the forest, and then he sees 
uh, what's her name? Sarah. Yeah. You see Sarah in the, uh, standing between the trees. Je- uh, was Jess at this point? N- no, no. Oh, 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 Sarah. Sarah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm yeah. sorry. You're right. I, he sees Sarah, the sister that went to look for the other sister, standing between the trees, just staring back. And at first, I thought like, okay, well, he he's a he's a mystic hipster Japanese guy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he can see her spirit, but for no reason, they do that thing they have always doing horror movies where you know the audience gets just one last jump. She looks at the audience. She's like, rah, and it's like. Uh, what the fuck that even mean? Yeah. That doesn't mean anything. You know what? It would have been scarier had you just said her soul is there in the forest to be tormented forever instead of just trying to give us one more jump scare. Fuck this movie, man. You know what? I'm going to give it some old bullshit. <laughs> I would give it a high some old bullshit. <laughs> I'm with you there. I'll give it that. You, you, you yeah, see what I mean? Yeah, I do. Because it dropped down from a low rental, but just barely. Because because of the the few just crumbs that were good about it. They spent money. Natalie Dormer was good. Uh, you know, there's parts of it that look good. It could have been something. I just got the impression like this was, this was mostly a Japanese movie where they said, look, let's bring some American people in this mm-hmm. just to have some crossover yeah. appeal. Only for that reason. Yeah. Like it, it'll, it'll probably play big in Japan where whenever she talks, it'll be Japanese subtitles. Uh, whatever, man. Y'all take that shit. Right, and maybe there's some extra footage that, that'll go in there. But it just felt it felt more calculated to me, yeah. and, and with the idea like, hey, look, it's a horror movie. We release it now. It'll make some. It'll make twice what we paid, spent on it, and then we can just get out of town. Um, maybe they'll take Natalie Dormer and make a fight Godzilla or some shit. I don't, you know, I don't know because I don't know what the fuck y'all could do with this. <laughs> you know, I, 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 as crazy as y'all are, I don't even know what y'all would get out of this. I mean, it could even be one of those movies that they made with her. With no intention of showing it, showing it in the U.S. and we're like, oh, Game uh, of Thrones, yeah, Game of Thrones, yeah. Or maybe they'll just cut her parts out completely and replace it with a Japanese chick. You know, they, they could easily they could. do that. They could. Or if y'all want to see some scary people, you know, just fuck that. Go watch our Elf video. <laughs> 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 That's way more horrifying, right? Not real.